Run it. I can't take no loss. I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, yeah, run it, run it. Oh, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah, yeah, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah, yeah, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Guys, welcome back to the Two Heads Podcast. I am your co-host, Kevin Bourne. I'm joined with our host. Mokta. And today we have the two lovely ladies. We have Jennifer and Lauren. Ladies, how are we today? Doing well. How Feeling are you? good? Nice. Good, yeah. Thanks, yeah, thanks for having us. Thanks for your time and for coming down and having a little chin wag. Of course. Oh, good to be here. Good. Pleasure to have you here. So to start, do you want to start? Or like it? Oh, no. yeah. So we'll start with you, Lauren. Give us a little uh, insight into... I know you're an artist and all that. I, I won't give you the same oomph that you will. So give us a little lowdown on, on you and your background and My why background. you're here. Yeah, so, um, well, I'm an artist. Uh, previously, I was a songwriter and a ghostwriter. Um, oh, wow. I was always involved in music. Um, I lived in America for 10 years. I was a ghostwriter there and um, got into acting. Um, and then I never had any visual art experience before. It was always music mm. and, you know, just being creative. And um, when I was over there, I um, I was di- look, I was diagnosed with multiple cirrhosis okay. in 2018, mm-hmm. and I couldn't act or sing or do any music or write anymore. Kind of right. just fell out of my head. Yeah. So I just got the urge to start painting and drawing. Um, so went to a shop in America, um, and I was going through treatment for MS. I was on um, a lot of medication, made me feel ill, couldn't leave the house. Yeah. And so I spent time watching like reality TV, you know, because I never sat down really and would watch. I I, I would watch The Real Housewives, I suppose, yeah. that franchise. Yeah. But I dove into all what was on TV during the day, and the people that I liked on these reality TV shows, I just started to sketching portraits of them. Right. Wow. And then I contacted them and told them my story. Yeah. You know that you know I I was a musician, blah blah blah, and now I've been diagnosed with MS yeah. and only started painting, and you know. You spent some time because I was on my own, kind of over mm, there going mm. through this, mm. and yeah, just started off like that. I got yeah. a few pieces to some of uh, celebrities over there. It was just kind of chance in my arm to see if I could do it. Well, like, let, Deadly, me, let, me, yeah. let me cut in there real quick. Right? Yeah. So, as as you are in your house, you are stuck in because you're going through a little bit of time, and then you are on medicine and all. Mm-hmm. Like, what made you pick up paint, though? How did you know you can draw? I didn't know. I just it was. So it how, was like, how did you manage to draw artists in the space of how many months have you been in? It was about two months, two three months. But come here, I'm not the stuff in the beginning, and I'm looking back at the stuff that I do now. It was absolute shite. But mm. there was some similarities. You have to start some, somewhere, though. I guess you know you're I never mean? gonna. You're only gonna get better as you yeah, do. It, yeah, exactly. Mm. You know. Um, it was like getting up one day, and if you're craving, I like craving a burger or craving something. Mm-hmm. I was craving. I, I just said I have to go and get some art supplies. It's a were, bit you, were you always an artist? Like um, an, like you always played with art and craft yeah. when you were a kid. Looking back on it now, I have people that I went to school with that have said to me, "God, you were always so artistic." But I'm looking back. I can't remember. Can you remember? I used to take the coloring books off her because she used to go outside the lines, and that would really tweak me. <laughs> 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 Jennifer, we have that OCD in common right there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no. She, yeah, the, she was always, you know, um, kids be reading books or whatever. Yeah, as small, like as a small child. Yeah, she would have been colouring, painting, yeah. things like that. But no, not as, it, not as like we have. Maybe have, she has a brother, Kane, who is really artistic. Oh yeah. And oh god, yeah. he hates me now. Always. Really, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. He keeps telling her that he's going to write a hit song and make millions <laughs> just to make her sick because she's Get you back at one, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Was but, um, yeah. yeah, I think he was more artistic. No, she never had that. I've never seen her. I've never seen her sitting down. It was always music. She was always playing something, a clarinet, um, a saxophone, a bower on. There was always music. I had to go and buy a piano. Yeah. There was always something yeah. in the house. It was always music. So, no, art never really came into it. It was obsessive nearly as a kid. And the same with art now yes. yeah. my whole life now it's, it's all I can think about I think she's the type of person when she puts her mind to something it, yeah. she'll, it goes she'll like just yeah she'll just keep going and it'll always be a success yeah well, yeah. yeah it was probably more of a creative outlet than anything well yeah it's something they actually my whole world have released kind of stopped I had this life-changing diagnosis I didn't know what was going on I thought I wanted to be an actor mm-hmm. after the music I tried that out I 
had auditions. I did an episode of NCIS as well. She's mad. I'd be delighted you know, with that now, without you. NCIS, lads. Like, honest to God, you know, and then when all of this was happening, I just wasn't comfortable anymore. And I was like, this is not the life I want to live. You know, yeah, I, I yeah. was getting too nervous going into auditions. My speech was slurring and yeah. things like that, you know, so... My whole life changed and, you know, I needed to do something. I knew that I couldn't write music anymore, do the things I wanted to do. So that's why I just focused on art, art. and just went with it. It just comes so naturally. Yeah. Cool. And I believe you're very good at it. Not too Look, much. I was on your page there. You've seen the Instagram. Like creeping. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I have to give it to you. Some of the work that you've done is, like, phenomenal. Like Next Thank level you. shit, yeah. And, um, Thank you. A few Definitely. months ago when I first met you, actually, you were here and then you had to fly out. Oh, I yeah, think you yeah. were opening an art gallery or something. Yeah, and you were no, launching an exhibition and stuff. So I have exhibitions on in California all year round. Okay. And I got a spot in New York, in wow. Manhattan, on the Upper West Side. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, so I kind of want, I want to set up shop in New York because LA is way too far. And, you know, to get the flights there. Mm. And I've done the LA thing. Okay. And I want to move on to a different part of the United States. I, I love American life. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. And, and I'm glad that I experienced it, but you know, I love being Irish over there and representing us. Yeah. And then when I'm here, not that I'm representing America, but like it's she does, she yeah. says things like candy and <laughs> <laughs> garbage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Take out the garbage, man. That's mad. Yeah, it's mad. different over there though, because people are like oh, you're Irish. My auntie's cat's neighbor's Irish. Yeah. Okay. You're oh. like, you fuck does that oh, mean? For example, like? I've, I've I've been in Vegas, right, and you'll be talking to people and they're like. Man, I'll give you a laugh, right? <laughs> I was in Ibiza. Hmm. I was in Ibiza, and uh, an American dude came over to me, and he was talking to me for a minute, and he, he, he realized me accent. Oh, my God, you're, you're Irish. <laughs> I goes, yeah. Is there many black people in Ireland? <laughs> you're fucking... I was like, no, I'm the only one. <laughs> <laughs> You've met him, bro, it's and me. He <laughs> What's your name? Frank Ian. That's what I said to him. I swear to God. <laughs> Ah, I have convinced uh, an American taxi driver that there was only six days a week in Ireland. That, Do you remember? Yeah, you would though. Oh, that's thing fucking gas. And, and he believed. He it. believed yeah. it. In Ireland, we only have six days. We have extra hours on each day, so it all works out. Yeah. Oh, I love that shit. That's, 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 that's such break, Irish isms, they, though. As well, would follow break. No, oh, me they personally, would. now, like the Americans do me titting. Mm. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> they do. A lot of them, like, come on, man. Some of them are just yeah. They're annoying, like yeah. very American without being yeah. too offensive you about know, it. But yeah, but no, I, I, I respect that. I love. Do you know what? I love New York. I yeah. enjoyed New York every um, when I went with the missus. Um, Vegas now, I'm just like I, I've seen too much of Vegas. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, it's and it's fake walls. I feel like you know when you're going into the shopping center, you if you trip and fall against the wall, the whole fucking building's coming down. No, all the cardboard. It's all stud walls and props you know, and shit. Yeah, Actually, yeah absolutely. When my mom came to visit me in LA. We went yeah. to broader. We drove three and a half hours, four hours to Vegas. Yeah. And it's unreal. Like, it's just, it's, yeah. it's, it's one of them things where... You have to see it. Yeah. yeah. You have to do it. Yeah, you do have to do it. It's very fake. It's very fake. My first time on. there, wild. Best thing ever. Mm. Yeah. And then I went, but look, do you know, like, you ever see, like, when you're a kid, it's like life in the, um, once in a lifetime experience kind of thing, you know? Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is fucking awesome. I, I was, man, I was on a hype. Yeah. And then I, I figured out that you can change your hotel every day, just complain. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> no brain on, man. It's <laughs> Babe, do not pack, don't pack your life. <laughs> what changing every day? Yeah, you shit know? wrong, yeah. So that I really enjoyed. And then two months later, I kind of was fighting. Then I was there. And then right. I was there. Then yeah. I was there. Yeah. Then I was, it's over, kid. And I was like, oh, mate, I'm done with this place, man. Yeah. It feels you know? dirty in a way as well. It, it, oh, me. man. And you know what? I, I actually preferred the old Vegas than oh. the new Vegas. Fremont, the old, is it? Um, where the Nuggets is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The so, look, like, see there, I feel like people are just normal. Mm. Yeah. Like, people just, even anyone that's around there drinking, they're not trying to be something. something. Yeah. You go to, if you're at the fights or at like that, in the in the new Vegas, you know, where the Luxor, the, the Boulevard, whatever, um, everyone's fake. Yeah. And you, you see people there that you know at home, they're fucking broke. <laughs> yeah, they're over there living their best life. And they're over thing. there spending mad money. And you're like, how? And then he comes home, he owes the credit union mad money. <laughs> yeah. And he owes a loan now. Uh, and you're like, mate, you're doing that for four days? Yeah. Just for four days? Yeah, like, like, your you're whole year back. paying that shit off. Like, like five years fucking bleeding. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Lonely for four days? Yeah. I just couldn't believe it. But that's what happens in Vegas a lot. 
Mm. There's a lot of fake, I, like you know, people want to fake it. They want to live a certain way, yeah. and that I'm not into. I just don't know yeah, what fuck it is. That. Man. Do it's it to whatever capacity you can well. manage. Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. why. There's nobody from know. LA though. Is there living no, in LA? Tra- really, tra- yeah. like Vegas. Yeah. Who's yeah. really living in? Not the people you're gonna see in Vegas. Mm. They're not living there. Yeah. yeah, they're just from somewhere else. You know. Yeah, yeah it's, it's built up of all of us fuckers going over and going. Oh, look at this. Exactly. Wow. You know. Yeah, it's true. Actually, yeah. Bring it back there. Let me bring you back. Um. So how's how's the gallery doing? Well, I haven't. It's hasn't started up yet now in New York, okay. so I'm going over. I think next month. Okay. Um, but like I signed a deal with them, you know. So Brilliant. They yeah. will so what is it? Just like you'll you'll have your pictures up. You'll have my artwork. Yeah. The, the and then you don't have to be there. Like no. Oh, no. awesome. And then they'll be for sale. Let me ask you a quick question. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Hey, see all these mad protesters going around, salad taping their hands to the fucking oh, arts yeah. and paint and yeah. What will happen if that happens to one of your arts up there? Would you not kick ass? No. <laughs> no. no I, 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 I used to be really emotionally invested in the art that I did. I'm not now. Okay. Just, no. I, I, I'd, I'd be flattered. But Would no, you? Yeah. Really putting, strapping themselves to my artwork. Because because of oil or some fucking yeah, shit. They, you mean? Something that's completely... Oil, save the wall kind of thing. Yeah, and stop they, driving your car to work fucking mad, shit. And they're, like, picking, yeah. they're picking art galleries to right. do. It doesn't make no sense. I don't think Laura and Mike Murphy's going to affect the oil industry. <laughs> or anything you know? like I don't that, think so. any of them are, though. I think that's that's kind of more the, the point. I think there was, the, the there was no why, one. Yeah, but Go the on. reason why I asked that is because yeah. I know a lot of artists are more invested in their pictures. Like, they're... they're they could their art piece, you know. Some artists lock themselves in the room until they get an idea and get it out, and nobody can see it till they want to present it. Yeah, to the happy and they're it. very connected to that picture, and yeah, that's why yeah. them pictures will be so dear in some of the, you know, at the high the level. Galleries like, I felt yeah. like that with music when I was writing music. Yeah, I was going to ask. Yeah. I wouldn't show anyone anything until the piece was done. Mm. With art, though, I, it, it's like for somebody else. True. Yeah. For somebody else and you know i'm just trying to bring a bit of joy to people and this is what i can do with my biggest weakness which is ms but it's also my superpower that's okay. how i look at it yeah like answer, yeah absolutely build a bus build a bus love, love that shit you know what I mean? well done mm. well done with that yeah, the end. yeah that just so with that because that's what i was thinking as you were saying that is, is because now i'm 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 off the rip here trying to word this so bear with me is it because music was your main squeeze and is there less pressure because art was kind of nearly your secondary option? Do you know what I mean? Because you had to come off music and then... I think because my life was so invested in music, everyone knew that's what I did. Mm. I always felt like I had to, I suppose, be the best. Yeah. Um, I don't think I really took criticism well mm. when I was doing music. Mm. But that's all changed now. Okay. Um, so... No, I don't. I don't think that's because it's my secondary option. No. Okay, you're just easier. It just is it it even just a maturity just, thing. You're just you're, it's okay with it. You're cool. It's just not an. an, oh, an sorry, you're sorry. not as emotionally invested because is it? You're just you're maturer now, or was there like was there a moment where you're like you were into a heavy like that? Yeah, I think it's because with music, when I, I was making money from it, but you never knew how much you were going to make. You know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. With art, you can, like my art now, it comes so naturally. I know I can sell it. Yeah. You know, people are seeking me out. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so it's a bit more stable. Yeah. As it, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's very. Uh, that's I get a bit that though. For me. Yeah. Well, I guess if you're if it's if it's not as stable in terms of the income, I think like there's pressure there already. Like, yeah, and, and I think just because it's coming so naturally, like yeah. You know, literally overnight, it's like something snapped yeah. in my brain, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. I also think it's a bit of the, I think the pressure is off as well because the art has come as a result of the MS. Yeah. You, you can't get away from that. It wouldn't have happened. If the MS hadn't happened, the art wouldn't have come. Mm-hmm. And so there's a bit of an appreciation there. Yeah. yeah. And I think once you have that, and it's, it's a, look, listen, you play a song for somebody and you play it for three minutes. The first time you hear a song, you kind of have to hear it. Isn't that why it's just constantly yeah. played on a radio? Yeah. yeah. And then yeah, you yeah, kind of yeah. get, get the... Um, and unless you're performing it, you're standing there performing it, they're the ones that get that kind of get the mm-hmm. recognition. Mm. Art is something that she can literally hold in front of you. Yeah. And you either go, oh like my enough. God. Yeah. And it's that uh, immediate appreciation that I think she gets a kick off. Yeah. She's always kind of been that type of person that loves to see other people's reactions. Mm. Gets a kick out of it. It's what yeah. makes, yeah. it's what kind of jimmies her on. Yeah. I think that's probably why the pressure is off. Yeah. You don't like it? Don't buy it. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. that's, that's, that's like awesome. Um, mm-hmm. And that brings me to, um, I don't know if I'm going to word this way. Um, what's the name of that paint that people just splash all over the place? Man? Is it abstract art? Abstract, abstract art. Just, yeah. Was that, like, what, what do you think of that? <laughs> I like 
some ab- abstract pieces. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I mess around with it. Like I, when, before I paint, I do a load of color, and they're, they're ca- it's called rainbows. It's apparently what goes on in our head with right. the elect. Trons, whatever. I can't really explain it. You're right. I'm not a scientist or a doctor. Right? Either way, don't worry about. <laughs> but apparently, the colors it, our brains. If you're put up to a scanner, they blow off color. Yeah, they, all they, these they, ne- yeah, like yeah, neon yeah. colors. Yeah. So, um, what was I saying? <laughs> abstract art. <laughs> we have a bit of abstract art. Bra- <laughs> brain bowing. That's what you're on. So you're doing house, yeah. Well, you see, my house is kind of a little bit like a gallery because I could come home and she's changed the whole room around and I have paintings <laughs> hanging. Okay. Some I like, yeah. some I don't. Okay. Some I go for mad for weeks going, when is that going? When yeah. is that going? I just don't get it on. <laughs> you know? So listen, there's things I like and I don't like. Yeah. But we have a bit of abstract art. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I do like, like I think it's a very good for... Art therapy. Yeah, right. okay. You know, you can feel it and all that. Yeah. It depends on what you believe no in. No rules ish kind There's of. No rules. And yeah. it's brilliant for design. Yeah. Yes. You're for yeah. doing a room up. Yeah. yeah. How about, how about, how about mm. like, I know you can paint in any way because I've seen something already. I've seen ridiculous shit that you've done already mm. in town, even on a shore. Yeah. Right? Um, but I feel like, have you ever painted someone in that tin and fruit? Like, butt naked? No, standing I'd in front like of you? Mm. Yeah? No, I'd like to. I, I, I said that's hard. Mm. Yeah, as an artist, maybe it probably is the same. It's a subject. So it's like, yeah, walk a park and yeah, walk in the Probably hard for the motherfucker standing there and just coming through. The fellow walks down in there. Anyway, you're a little bit smaller, yeah, you're a little small, you know. <laughs> 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 Enough to be if you're making a creek, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I haven't done it. Yeah. Why do one, though? Why not do two? Yeah, you know. There you go. <laughs> one, two, we have a mechanic, mannequin. Oh, my mom would here. love that on our watch. She would love on our watch. She would. Yeah. But, um, yes, and um, I see you're, you're really, really killing the art game. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the first time I actually questioned about you was that shot, by the way. Oh, in the, Crumlin Village? Yes, yes, the yes. Dublin yes, 12 yes. Legends. Fucking awesome, man. Yeah, so uh, they came, the, the hardware came mm. and contacted me. I was doing another mural around the corner. So in Crumlin... I'm trying to commemorate all the people that are behind, like the Crumlin Football Club or the mm-hmm. GAA, and just you know, iconic people from the area. Mm. So they gave me a list um, in in that hardware, and they said they wanted it like the Beatles uh, yeah. album cover, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club. Everyone's band. on there. Yeah. So that's what I did. I just you nailed it. Mm. Yeah, it's great. It's fucking yeah. nailed it. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Like, see that? Like putting that much effort into an art piece like that, yeah. Because obviously you did put time into it. Yeah. Now, if you walk past that tomorrow and some little prick spray can the whole shit out of it, rats out or something, yeah. you know, like <laughs> stupid shit yeah. that happens around the estate all the time. Yeah. Yeah. How does that feel for you? Like, Does that feel like, okay, I'm going to go and do it again? I would be upset for them, the business. Yeah. Would you not do it for them again, though? I would, of course I would. I'll buy mm-hmm. once and you have to buy again. <laughs> <laughs> today's price is not the same as yesterday's price. Today's price is not yesterday's <laughs> price, my guy. <laughs> in the work especially if it's on, on, in public yeah you know so but the weather that we get there's some murals and electricity boxes that got yeah. destroyed you know yeah. from the hard rain and snow but i just go and patch it up and yeah. fix it up yeah. just because i wanted to it's stay like therapy, there is it? Yeah. yeah and i know that it means you know a lot for other people yeah. you know i did um jimmy deering who founded the crumlin football team mm-hmm. and his family came by and they drive by it every day and you know they expressed Love how that. grateful they are. Yeah. You know, he's really? no longer here, so. Yeah, that's deadly, yeah. yeah Tell the Good. truth, though. We, we did. When, when she did it first, we kind of stood outside at 11 o'clock at night watching the, you know, the kids going by. Yeah. <laughs> we did. <laughs> 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 Don't be dirty, man. But come to say that, right? See the way you said the family loved it and all, yeah? But I remember I was in the youth club when I was younger. Mm. And, like, we were little bastards. So we were in this, this little youth club in Clondalkin. And every weekend they tried to take us out of the estates because we were nuts, like, you know yeah. what I mean? I had ADHD, I was coming out, climbing out windows and all, right? Mm. But what they did for us is the area where we used to hang out, like, uh, th- there was a wall there. We used to call it the wall. Mm. Remember what I was saying? Like, yeah. And what they did is they took pictures of us and they got an artist in and drew and actually put everyone, and we respected That's that place brilliant. so much. Yeah, it's I'm mad. talking, like, if anyone sprayed on it, like every the whole estate's going mad. Yeah, like, yeah. That yeah. One clean, like, another layer on you it. You know, yeah. so I get, I get, I get where you're coming from when you say things like that, and that's why I had to pull you up on that show because I really, I seen my childhood in that show, like, because yeah. mm. the, the way it was just done, it was just like, ah, it's brilliant, like you know what I mean, and like I feel like a lot of people now, especially a lot of kids that's coming up in homes and whatever, 
and a lot of the states now are doing it for football clubs and yeah. putting faces on the wall, the team on the wall. And uh, you've done a fucking amazing job, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're well, really I'm good. open to, to any places, so there's a yeah. little shout out. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If you want a mural done, this is your lady right here. <laughs> well, um, let's, let's, co- let's come out of that. Yeah, do you have any more questions in there? I have one more just back. Yeah. Ghostwriting. Yes. That's where I was about to go myself. Yeah. Who? Do you, do you, do you dress up as a ghost or something? No. <laughs> <laughs> have you got a sheet on while you're doing that? That's what I need to know right now. No. Not many people really know much about it. I got into it through a songwriter that I knew years ago who worked in RT and whatever, and he told me, he was like, do you want to be famous and, and be credited and things like that? Or do you want to just make some money? Mm. I was thinking, I want to make some money. I don't mm. want it. I did, never wanted the fame. I, yeah. you know, I think I'm quite shy. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to realise, you know, I, I, I want to be in the background doing things. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, I got into it and I started writing songs for Eurovision. That's how I kind of got my break. Okay. Um, I went to college, studied songwriting, and then I was doing so well that I felt like I didn't need college then. Yeah. Yeah. And then I just kept getting opportunities writing for artists you know, all over Europe. Did I heard... Um, you got in with Warner Brothers, didn't you? I did, yeah. yeah. I had a publishing deal with Warner Brothers, yeah. Fuck. That's amazing, man. That's serious. Stuff for, for TV. Is there anyone yeah. that, did, did you do any song for any artist that's still around now that we probably know? See, a lot of them got recorded. I, like, Rihanna recorded one of my songs and Katy Perry recorded yeah. one of my songs. Fuck, and really? I couldn't tell anyone. And I'm glad I didn't because these things happen. They, they yeah, don't and then always they don't go, go along with it. Yeah. It could be for right. 10 years' time, then another person might pick it up. Yeah. They're in yeah. the archives. They have yeah. that shit in the archives. That's yeah. cool. In the archives, yeah. They're your royalty then, yeah? You own them. Yes. yes. Yeah. So when I do some uh, ghostwriting, I would get paid out and not get a credit. The credit goes to the artist or producer. Right. Okay. Okay, mm-hmm. and you said you done um, Eurovision songs. Yeah. Yeah. How did they do? They didn't win. But <laughs> 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 well, that way, like, can I ask you? But that when uh, what's your man? Dustin the Turkey. <laughs> Dustin the Turkey. Now that's probably too far back. Like we did it all. No, because one of my friends was the backing singer for that. Oh, Dustin the Turkey. She might watch it. Dustin the Turkey. Remember Dustin? Yes. Yeah, I, I still have one of his CDs in me. Gaff, here comes the band. Yeah. Here comes the band. Clover, 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 clover. He did all of the the songs that he covered songs, didn't he? It was a whole yeah, album. Yeah, yeah, I had yeah. it on a on a oh, fucking oh, walkman. Oh, it was the shit. I loved them. Yeah. The green yeah. jacket. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. loved them. The shit. The den lads. Oh, back in the day. Shit, huh? I still want one of them. The den denim jackets. You, you <laughs> never got one. Raging. He was the man though. Try and get one for you. Yeah. If anyone out there has a has a the den jacket. Wait. Um. So with the music, now they are gone. After are you still in the music? Obviously. No, well, bits. I'm actually kind of trying. I'm I'm doing really well. I'm po- I'm being positive right now. I'm working out in your gym. Brilliant. And Champ- I, champions. Champions Plug. gym. <laughs> and I feel like I'm not getting as many flare ups. My health is, you know, being really, really well. Good. Um. Maybe because the people there know. I think it may be. It's yeah. not good energy, you know. <laughs> Just saying. The atmosphere is everything, guys. You know. <laughs> go on, go on. You know, so um, I'm trying to retrain myself to play because it literally right. it's cognitive issues. It's it's like picking everything up again. Like mm. I, I picked my clarinet up last week. I said this to her. I can't believe I'm about to say this. And I started playing God Save the Queen. Yeah. That was the first thing I started to play because I remembered or something triggered me when I was in London yeah. doing the St. Paddy's Day Parade. I was in a marching band and that's the first thing that, that I played. Yeah. And then I couldn't remember anything, you know, so Ugh. I'm retraining. Yeah. I'm not saying, ne- like, I'm not saying I'll, I'll give up songwriter or music forever mm. because I do believe that my brain is more powerful now and that mm. I am retraining everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the most important thing, are you happy? Oh, I'm so happy. I'm that's the happiest that's... I've ever been in my life. Yeah, that's cool. that's the most important thing. Absolutely, you know? yeah. that's key. Like that's key. That's really really good. Like mm-hmm. like a lot of people would do something and not like see it. Like they keep trying to plug it when they're not focused in that field. Yes. Instead of just stepping back yeah. and seeing mm-hmm. what the mistake is. Yeah. And I'm yeah. glad you you literally fell. If you fell in a pull of shit, you'll have a shit jacket. Letter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Coming up with that. Yeah. That's the way I yeah. know. Like for you to pick up art is mind blowing for me. Because like, yeah. like yeah. a lot of people don't have that type of skill unless you're taught that skill. Yeah. And for you to like, 
it comes to time just pick it up like, like you know? yeah so i have a new appreciation for everything mm. in life you know i don't worry or stress about anything anymore you know i just take each day as it comes and we have good days i have bad days yeah. you know and yeah, you i know. hone in on on everything like being positive and yeah. you know what's the next step or how am i going to improve or get better mm. yeah, this is my um 27th year i joined when i was 11. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah i'm 27 years um working in pharmaceuticals yeah dealing mm. with um yeah primary pack the 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 products that you put on your skin okay yeah. in general and injectables as well mm. brilliant 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 and come here, let me ask you a quick question see when we went through COVID and all, yeah yeah my what life. was your thought on the looks of the vaccine and all? The reason why I ask this is being in the pharmaceutical, I'm pretty sure you hear mad shit throughout the yoke. Um, you have the left side, the right side, and everyone else complaining about uh, it's good for you, it's not good for you, the kids should take it or whatever. What, what, what was really like knowing the field yourself? What, okay, what was... so first off, when it all happened and nobody really knew anything, and, and that's even the professionals, you know, even the, mm. the World Health Organization, they're telling you things, but they didn't really know, yeah. they didn't have any data. The majority of my thoughts on COVID was work-wise, because I actually was lucky enough to continue working because mm -hmm. pharmaceutical is like, it's like going, your, yeah. you, you gotta have your patients mm -hmm. um, with medicines. And we struggled just with getting in supplies, mm -hmm. right? You, you couldn't get anything from yeah. anywhere, you know? So mm -hmm. that's pretty much what we were like constantly doing. Was that due to the government though? No, it was due to um, factories not having any people to work in them. China? Um, no, I don't, no, I don't deal with China. <laughs> Straight on the sea, uh, bro. Italy, Italy, Germany, they were hit huge. France, wow. Switzerland. So they basically had so many people out sick, they couldn't run a line, so they mm. couldn't produce. And if you can't produce, then you can't they get can't. the stuff out the door, exactly. yeah. and then we can't make it, and we mm. can't, so it's, it's like a vicious circle. So it, so nobody was really mentioned, all, all anybody was kind of, and I worked with an awful lot of pharmacists, and it was very much get your vaccine, get your vaccine, get your vaccine. Mm. Um, and so, yeah, there was never really any negative, you know, people were just, very focused on how do we get the stuff in how do we continue working and which is why the decision where it was literally work from home mm. we've got to protect our production people yeah so if you keep them safe and you keep COVID out of the workplace mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, you, and you ensure that everybody else is doing the same it'll kind of keep the ball rolling and it did yeah and is COVID dead is it done is it gone like i remember i like i remember just as we were coming out of COVID. And uh, I already had me two injections by then. I believe. I, uh, by the way, I was pro vaccine. I, I like since a kid, we've been getting it. So I didn't. I didn't see anything. If the go, the go, a lot of people are saying the government's trying to kill us. There's lead in there. Well, they kill us for cheaper, man. If they want yeah. to kill us, like, yeah, you know, they do a way simpler. Gotcha. <laughs> they're gonna kill us. They're gonna kill us for way cheaper. Absolutely. Just, the water. Just put a bit showing our water and we're gone. Right. But um, but like, what I thought, like I accepted the vaccine and I was okay with it. I didn't accept that my kids, when they were starting to try and push off three kids, I didn't accept that now. That I was like, I was yeah. a bit against the wall. And then another thing that really, really grinded me gear was, I was traveling, I had to go get an operation in Poland. And uh, I remember they were like, Poland wasn't letting you in unless you have your tour after six months or something, you have to refresh. Go so again or something. Your, you know? And I remember, <clears throat> I remember going and get me jab. <laughs> and two days later I was flying and the thing was lifted. No, oh, you were Nobody fun. cared. Yeah. <laughs> what, was what was the point of that? <laughs> Do you exactly. know what I mean? Fuck that. I remember my first vaccine. I got my first vaccine because I just wanted to go out and go to the restaurant because we were all locked up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be dead serious. Yeah. And like, it wasn't that I wasn't going to get it anyway, but if I made it quick on me getting vaccine, and they were talking about nightclubs were going to be open for only vaccines. <laughs> Deadly. I, I was in the queue for us, mate. <laughs> but that was the only reason why I got it. Yeah. But coming to get the vaccine and then now, I have like a, a client of mine, he, he suffered badly from vaccine, you know, his, his nerve system and all shut down, blah, blah, blah. But I understand, like it, it, a lot of people don't understand this and it, it, I'm delighted to be having you in this actually, so we can shine a bit of light to this. Um, a lot of people don't understand, regardless how good a medicine is, there's always going to be a side effect or somebody's blood is not going to take to it mm -hmm. right. Of course. And people are quick to scream, oh, the vaccine is killing this, gonna... no, it could have been your blood type in that soon, that vaccine, it's just, you know, but what kind of message when you start hearing things like that how did that come across to you like you know being in be, being in that field yeah. knowing that you are dealing with it maybe your neighbor was probably saying nah i'm not taking no vaccine you know like yeah. 
How did that feel to yeah, you? Yeah, and like? I think people probably did kind of say it to me. A hundred percent, Joe, in the pharmacy. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? My thoughts aren't really measure the risk, you know, mm. because you could be that person that does have a reaction to it and something happens. You could also be that person that says, no way, uh, no way am I, um, you know, going to take anything. And you get it. And the next thing. You're, you're in hospital, you're, you know, mm. you're dying, you're mm. dead. Mm. So, you know, how do you measure up? I don't have a crystal ball, I can't say, and I don't know whether in five years' time somebody's going to turn around and say this. Thing, so, do you know what? That's what they're doing to all of the people. I really don't know. You have to put your trust in the experts and the scientists. Mm. Um, would I get another uh, booster shot now? No. Yeah. I wouldn't. And Like, exactly for the reason that you said, it's gone. It's, got, it's not, but, but, yeah. but we're, we're becoming more, um, you know, I suppose immune to things, yeah. you know, something else will, will, will come it'll along, come along yeah. you know, um, so, yeah, I mean, I've heard it, I've heard yeah. both sides of it, but. Life, it's yeah, life. It's life, life yeah. I guess it's the same as, as people got the, the, the sickness, like some people got it and were grand, yeah. Yeah. And they, some people got it all, yeah. and were fucked, you know, yeah. yeah. so yeah. it's just, the, it's, the, it's down to the individual. Name, I never it, got like, it yeah. actually. Uh, I you did, bad, and yeah. Alan got it, and um, Miss Stephen King didn't get it. You I think I'm a kept them code, shots yeah. for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> she she gave his water. That's what she did. She gave his water. I think they should test me now. <laughs> <laughs> You're the phenom. Why didn't I get it? <laughs> exactly. I was the one out doing the bloody shot, but I, <laughs> I did nothing, and I, I did, you know, I didn't get it. But, uh, so um, yeah, look, and it's it's just one of those things. I think hindsight is, you know, I'm sure we'll be having a different conversation in five years' time when yeah. you'll be hearing, and somebody will always come up with an excuse for something. Mm. Oh. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I have a pain in my leg. I, I, ever since I got that COVID shot. Yeah. 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 You know, oh, like, you hear that all, man. Mm. Yeah. You hear it all, like. Yeah. You really do, like, you yeah. know. Yeah, we're but bad. Like, um, yeah, no, we're bad over here, man. Yeah, it yeah, is. Man. Look, think about it, though. If they didn't do the lockdown and actually COVID did ramp to Ireland, mm. it's just a small population, like. Yeah. <laughs> really yeah. wiped out. Yeah. <laughs> it would be, like, like honestly, here. You know, but, um, no, thanks for that. I wanted. I always wanted to dig into something about, especially about that, that sort of thing, because I feel like a lot of people was left in the dark because the government didn't give much, and mm. then a lot of doctors that wanted to speak out couldn't speak out because there was risk of losing their job, mm. yeah. you know. So that that was a really really cash twenty two. What did you say? Yeah, like, I guess yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. it was. No, a... Nobody really knew what was going on. They just exactly, take, yeah. like people didn't want to take. Like, me personally, I think a lot of people that didn't want to take vaccine just didn't know. Yeah. Enough. Enough. About it. Didn't give enough information. Because yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a laugh, man. This is Bro. nuts. Remember when COVID first came on to fucking social media? Mm. In China? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cunts fucking on the side of the road and all and fucking bleeding. Like, lined, lined up with black bags on them and cunts dropping on floors. Well, I had it three times. Mm. <laughs> like, yeah. I was like, and everyone forgot about these videos yeah. that was shown. Yeah. Yeah. Was like, that not a scare tactic, though? That, that, how the, it came from bats. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And a man-made. Man-made. In a lab. Like. Yeah, but see, blaming Putin again. I think. I think what the, <laughs> the problem was. When in doubt, though, blame Putin. That's what I say, bro. He's he's when the. When they release the those default. videos, I want to know is I want all of these videos date stamped because where were they coming from? Did you? Get, yeah. Did you? Did yeah. any of you did not see them videos? Like them videos were ridiculous. Yeah. They were ridiculous. On the street, People so. clapping. Yeah. Like, Being dragged like, into vans. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It was yeah. like uh, Monsters Inc. You yeah. know, we have a twenty three nineteen. Like that's some guy just comes up and puts up a, a curtain and you're going missing. You're like, what the fuck happened there? Like, yeah, it, the was fuck? A, it was a, it was a, it was a weird moment because I remember he <laughs> was the first actor to get it and everyone was like, oh no, he got it. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Uh, He's out to get. I'm like, man. <laughs> <laughs> no one took it seriously to them. Yeah, they're like fucking Tom Hanks, bro. Fuck that. No way. Big? No way. It couldn't happen. Trump got it on the Yeah, yeah. 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 It is real. Yeah. <laughs> Trump has it. It's definitely real. Guys, this podcast is brought to you by Champions Gym. Champions Gym is Ireland's greatest, newest gym. This is where everybody is a champion. There is no egos. Everybody has the same respect, no matter what level you're at, whether you're a beginner, advanced, a competitor. Champions Gym is your new home, home of the champions, located on the Long Mile Road behind Wiggaters. We have memberships to suit all price points, and our staff are world class. So drop into Champions Gym, Long Mile Road today. Okay. So, for yourself, um, as I was doing the research on yourself again, like I was saying, um, I see that you are a lesbian. Am I right? Yes. Why are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Bro. I was fucking hoping you'd do that, you know that? Did you know that video? Yes, 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 yes. Brilliant. I love you, Ryan. I'm sorry to shit. 
<laughs> Mister, I call you Mister. I'm actually getting embarrassed. Oh. Not at all. Come on. No, all jokes to the side. We're all lesbians. I, 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 I just, I, I don't like the word lesbian. Okay, okay so what? It's, it's what like would you saying call it? moist. Okay, what would you? Call oh, it? ew, no, really. So what, would moist call, is, what would you call? What would you call yourself then? Like, what would you call your category? Uh, is it the Q, the A, the L V G? Is it the Q or the A? A woman lover. No, I am. Um, I suppose gay. I suppose gay yeah. would probably be the. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't ever have to really say I'm gay. I know I'm with a woman and yeah. everything, but I don't ever have to announce, announce it. it. Yeah. No, well, it's it's the, the, nowadays like you don't know, you know, like mm -hmm. you, you like anybody. Like I feel like with the votes and everything, it made this country a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I'm I was gonna be dead serious. I was and living away when that all happened. When that so happened, yeah. When I came back to Ireland after that passed, I noticed a difference. Yeah. A huge difference in mm. Ireland and the amount of people that are out and just living their lives. But let's let's bring it back, right? So even with the vote, let's say, yeah, mm. like it's great because all the young of t the young 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 people of today, they all accept that everyone open up to it, yeah. mm -hmm. you know. But they're still dark. You know, old schoolers, uneducated, yep. that's still against there. Just like, for example, I always say, like, racism has never gone in, in Ireland. Mm -hmm. It's just under the carpet, mm -hmm. you know? Um, did you yourself ever felt any way towards that? Did you, like, did you ever notice that yourself in, your, yeah. in Ireland? Oh, uh, well, yeah. Well, I came out, like, over 20 years ago. I know mm -hmm. I look young. What age were you when you came out? I was about 16, wasn't I, when I came out to you? Mm -hmm. But I, I found it very hard because... I feel like I, I've known since I was a little girl. Mm. You know? Okay, brilliant. I thought it was just, I was a tomboy maybe, because I just hung around with my cousins who were all males. Mm. I, I, I thought I, maybe it was just that. I was on my own a lot as a kid. Um, but when I was a teenager, I found a group of friends and, you know, mom was always like, everyone's bisexual or everyone's gay, you know? We just kind of all figured out that we were a little bit different mm. back then. I was petrified to tell my family. Mm. I don't know why, because they probably your mom probably knew already. Did you? Yeah, I think but yeah, we probably did. Yeah. Um, and then when she started kind of um, with the group that she was kind of palling around it. with, yeah, then I caught at that stage. Yeah, I the footballers and you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a dream. That was a dream. <laughs> 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 the artistic more artistic. I would have said. Yeah. Fruit, yeah. We were Kind of alt-ish vibe kind of thing. Yeah, like yeah, maybe what we call hipsters now. Okay, yeah, yeah. But uh, even 20 years ago, it just wasn't a big thing. It wasn't you. you. Know? Well, I feel you know like what? everybody went through that little hippie phase as well. Like, yeah. That's kind of normal-ish, mm. you know. I'm clearly yeah. still in it, but whatever. You know? but, <laughs> <laughs> but in 20 years, it wasn't a big thing. It wasn't a big thing to the naked eye. Mm. No. Like, you know, like I feel like it's always been there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's always been there. That's why it's closet. Mm -hmm. You come out, you know. And it, it, 20 years, it was just a lot harder for a lot of people to come out. And I felt like people were judged when they came out. Very yeah. much so. You know? Um, living in Ireland and being openly and being yourself and then mm -hmm. able to be you, your family supportive, clearly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And knowing that there's a lot of stigma behind it in Ireland at the time. Mm -hmm. See, when you moved to America, I bet you it was a lot different, was it? Oh, yeah. Because it's just a bigger population, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I, when I went to LA first and even seeing two males walking down the street in my yeah. side, I was I look and I'm like, wow, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. This, this is how it is. People mm. are more open. Well, I felt a little bit more calmer, I suppose. Yeah, more comfortable. It, was, it was more uncomfortable. accepted. Uncomfortable, yeah. yeah. Uncomfortable. It was more accepted on the field. And each though. year got better. Yeah, uh, mm. But I thought it was maybe I'm getting older and I'm just, you know, mm. you know, I'm accepting it completely. But yeah. mm. no, it's just times have changed, definitely. Time, big time. Yeah. Big time. You know, you know. Absolutely. <laughs> Especially with the difference between Ireland and America, like we were just touching on, is like is vast you know mm. people over there have already i don't even think they're aware that there's places outside of where they live no, they're whereas not, yeah. we're only ever aware of the places outside of where we live yeah. you know what i mean because it's literally like we're all just living in one big sitting room you yeah, know I it's felt so small a lot of shame when i was a teenager because i i was different and then i was holding the secret mm. from my family and that killed me mm. but then when i when i told them and they were so supportive I was like, oh, then that's the weight of the world mm. on my shoulders. Once my family are there for me, I don't care. Yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah. amazing. And come here, like, okay, so you, you came out, what, 16, 17? About 16, 17. Yeah. 16, so yeah. In between yeah. that, yeah, mm -hmm. being in school, blah, 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 you never kissed a boy? Oh, I was, yeah. 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 So yeah, yeah. did you, did you feel, but did you feel like you were hiding identity? Or did you, when you kissed a boy, you still got the same feeling as kissing no. a girl? No. 
So some of the the guys that I was with, I liked them. You know, then then you'll be saying to me, but you're, that must mean you're bisexual. No, there was never that. Um, it's not that emotional connection. Yeah. I can be best friends with a male, no bother. And, you know, I appreciate male physique and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. as beings, human beings. But, um, no, this just would never have that emotional connection yeah. connection that I have mm. that with people that I've been with. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you, you have tried, but you didn't buy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so you just, yeah, you know, okay. I love men, I love women, but, yeah, just... Yeah. I'm... I'm, I'm Comfortable now. I'm at the time of my life where I I know where I'm going. This I'm, I have a very yeah. stable relationship. She switches well. back now at this. Stage. <laughs> <laughs> you can't change governments twice. No. It's just the once. Stop me and I have to pay for the wedding. Then. Yeah, <laughs> God. And um, yeah, God then anyway. Now that we're here, um, I know you're a guard. Yes. Am I right? Yes. A banger. Yes. Okay. Can you say that? You can't say banger. You can't say banger, bro. Take it back, guys. Yeah, yeah guard. A police officer. <laughs> a woman police officer. No, 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 woman. Just guard, bro. Just, just, just guard. Yeah. No, no, no gender on that shit. Um, yeah. So you're a guard. How long are you been? Since I got back, uh, three, three, four years. Brilliant. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. getting married next year. And Congrats. Who wears the pants mm-hmm. in this Good relationship? We're both fifty-fifty. Oh, okay. right. So. I'm gonna have. There's no ma- There's no masculinity. No. Is there no between, between the two of you? Like. She who got, washed the dishes and who does the clothing and who does the bread when I, like, there's none of that? No, it's all, we split Damn, things. Damn, hold up again. She's, she's <laughs> Don't fucking look at me, G, fuck that. Some, <laughs> Keep some it. people would say, okay, she's a bit more masculine because she's sporty, played football, you know, she played football in the state years going for oh. Ireland and all that. Mm. But She's not, she's long hair, she's, she's not, the, uh, do you know what I mean, the gla- glamorous. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so no, it's 50-50, we say that all the time, like, yeah. we compliment each other. Okay, yeah. Mm. Yeah, because I feel like, I think stereotypically speaking, we imagine a girl who's dressed in pink mm-hmm. yes. and then a guy who has a fade. Or a girl has a fade, sorry. You yeah. know, this, it's usually something that's real, obviously, like this yeah. is that and yeah, this, this is that. Is that. Well, know, obviously not the case. Like, yeah. have a role to play, regardless if it's two boys or two girls or yeah. a girl and a boy. Someone yeah. does still kind of sit play. into the... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. And that's like, just like habit, isn't it? Thinking... But that's what a lot of people yeah. think of yeah, yeah. now. Even now, I, I was thinking of that. That's yeah. why I had to ask you that, yeah. you know? Mm. Um, I say a lot of people are still in that mindset. Yeah. Like, one yeah. has to be the more muscular, yeah. and the other one has to be the more female. Yeah, how would it work Whatever otherwise, you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know, but like... We both have our moments. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. Is that a bitchy relationship? <laughs> <laughs> the best relationship, the most normal relationship I've ever been in my life. I, I know her over 20 years. I knew her when I was when I first came out, just okay. as a friend, true friends. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then when I came home, we reconnected, I suppose. Yeah. Mm. Did she ever rat you out your bar like that? Oh, she is a great guy. relationship. Mm. <laughs> there is no ass, she is a guy. <laughs> 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 It was gonna happen though. <laughs> it was gonna be sad. It was gonna be sad. <laughs> I know. Don't you know what I mean? And how do you feel of all settling down now? You know, I believe you're engaged. Yeah. Is you saying married next year? Yeah, you're married next year, yeah. Check the rock, yeah. my guy. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Salary. Hey. <laughs> hey. You up to Paris? Let me ask you quick. I'll probably pay for that ring. Let me ask you something though. So you are planning to get married, yeah? Yeah. Are you gonna do it in Ireland or are you gonna do it in America? Ireland. Are you gonna do it in Ireland? Yes, we want to give the families a big party. Because I've missed so many years of being away and getting the family together. So yeah, we're getting married now next year in City Hall. Nice. Castlenock. Castlenock Hotel. Deadly. You might get an invite. Yeah, I go if, on. If you're I better going get we'll MC it. We'll MC it. That's what we'll do. Live podcast at a wedding. Up at the Blanche 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 <laughs> Fucking yeah, man. Gorgeous. Good spot. Beautiful. City Hall's nice as well, actually. And he was only at a wedding for a mate there, there yeah. last year. It's fucking lovely. Oh, it's beautiful. Really nice spot. And how do you feel? She's after finding herself. She found someone that's like equal, same attitude. You know, you're probably. Oh, bloody time. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, listen, she's been like, I suppose, like most people, she's been through the ringer, you know, the same way as everybody has, you know, relationships that break down or whatever. Um, I think when, at the end, when she was in the States, and she was quite ill. Um, I, at that stage, I just wanted her home. I just mm. thought this is what is instant. Want you home? Yeah. Um, just don't think that's the right place for you to be. I think you need your family at a time yeah. like this. And family circumstances forced that that she kind of made that that decision and said, "Right, I'm coming home." Oh, and within a couple of weeks, she mm. had Beth Vicky, and 
yeah, I kind of look back now and it's I can't actually remember a time when she wasn't there. You know, we have a great relationship. That's She's a great it. relationship with us all. We all, yeah. We're all in the text group. She texts me pretty much every day, Brilliant. you know. Um, and they, they're they really, really happy, I have to say. I yeah. don't, I've never seen an argument. I've never seen bad words or, you know, like, you know, and I understand what you say, you know, is there bitchiness? Because I've seen that yeah, in relationships. Yeah, two girls. Mm. Yeah. Definitely not. Don't hold me on that. Yeah, I'm that. yeah look. He said that. <laughs> I didn't say that. It's not massaging this. I'm just talking. Yeah. <laughs> but and she's there. she seems to be her biggest supporter, and I think yeah. that's something that Lauren lacked mm. for an awful lot of years. Mm -hmm. And actually, it's that's quite endearing to look at is mm. when somebody else is your biggest supporter. It's 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 a it's a really nice trait, mm. and it kind of makes you feel comfortable. And Absolutely. I kind of think then. Jesus, thank God, because I won't be having to be our biggest <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the way off you there. For the rest yeah. of my life, but it, they, ha they do have a really, really good relationship. So, no, I'm made up. And made was, up. There, was there a time, so when you when you came out, Lauren, that was, was that like 03 or is that early 2000s? 03, 04. Yeah, so at that time, obviously, things are a lot different now than they were then. As a man, did you have any, like I know you said you were, you were grounded and you kind of had an idea. Was there any kind of worry or stress that, like getting to where you are now, you've met the right person and you're getting married and you're living happily ever after and all that good stuff. Did you ever have a worry that that might not be the case in this country? Or oh, every day. Yeah, just every would have had that struggle. Day. Like, I See, I'm the, I'm the youngest of eight, so, okay. you know, I, I know old-fashioned views as well, you mm -hmm. know, where people, you know, oh, they're one of them, I've yeah. not heard them, within my own family, you know? Yeah. It's unfortunate, but it was there. Um, and... But I also kind of thought to myself, I never had to stand in front of anybody and tell them, listen, I'm straight, just so you know. Yeah. And I think that says an awful lot. So why should somebody that wants something different or has some, that, that is made in a way that has something different, mm -hmm. why do they have to do it? Mm -hmm. So I always kind of said to her, you don't ever have to explain yourself. You never have to tell anybody you're gay. Mm -hmm. Why would you? I'm not saying you hide it, yeah. but you definitely don't have to tell them. Mm -hmm. Because what interest is that? Nobody knows what I do when I close the bedroom door. Yeah. Why should anybody else know? Exactly. And yeah. so, in, in fairness, Alan's family they were the exact same. It was like, that's just, it's you, the person that we love, not the person that other people, you, you, do you know what Absolutely. I mean, see it as. Yeah. And yeah. I, so, but I worried because of other people's reactions to her. I don't want to think that my son or my daughter would walk down a, a street at night time coming out of a gay bar and be beaten up. Mm -hmm. Who would want that? Absolutely, you know? yeah. So, it's that fear as a parent. Mm -hmm. But in fairness, it, it's worked out. Yeah. Um, you know, we've never, it's never impacted our lives in any way. Yeah. We've never had any negative, certainly from within our friends, family. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's an own thing and it's very accepted. Yeah. Deadly, love that. Irish Mammy Awards. Oh, well. Irish Mammy Awards coming <laughs> in the post, <laughs> anyway. That's the shit right there. Hey. Spoken like a true I have one more Irish question man. before we go into the three questions that we're going to ask at the end. Then. Yes, sir. <clears throat> is the father still around, obviously? Yeah, your dad? Yeah. Yeah, he's still around. How is, how is that? How was the how how was it on him when when he first heard that she's um I'm not gonna lie, he yeah. did struggle. Of course, he's a man. But he struggled for different I'm a very logical person, so I'm, you know, I, I don't worry about things. And when I say of course he's a man, it's cause it's an old mentality. Like when the Catholic was so strong back days when they growing up, they don't know any better. Yeah. It's just what it is. Yeah. You know, so it's it, when I say of course, it's cause the age gap. That's that's why I say, God. like, if it's a, say somebody a man now, it's it's easier to say, ah, it's a, this is what it is, because that's what we see daily. Back yeah. then, they didn't show it. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Do you well, know what I mean? So I understand. A girl, and I think in exactly. fairness, where I would kind of deal with logic and say, well, this is it. You can't change it. Yeah. Nothing you could do could change this outcome. So get on board. Get on. Yeah. He was more of a worrier of what other people would do. Oh. Mm. Would other people treat her differently? Mm -hmm. Now that probably was about a six month window. Okay. And in that time. He would never, you know, there wouldn't have been a conversation between him and Lauren about it. Yeah. It would have been behind so closed doors. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. And I have to say, within, and, and he took about six months and suddenly gone. gone. And he has never, it's never been an issue. He's never, you know, we've had parties where, you know, Lauren's friend group might be different yeah. to, you know, your family. And whatever. They've all come in. There's been music playing and whatever. Never been an issue. Deadly. That's no. brilliant. Yeah. That's brilliant. That's class. And um, how did your brother feel? Because I know your brother. How did he feel when you bought a guy at home? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought I was going somewhere else. Yeah. Did he know it was a guy there, or did you tell him halfway through I the party or halfway? I know we arranged for Vicky to go up 
with the guard squad car. Are you joking? And drag him out and arrest him. Uh, arrest him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is the it shit. All, I felt it was never. It was That's funny. The it was shit. funny. That that is it was so funny. Um, I can't imagine. Him so he well. took it well. Yeah. yeah. Very well. <laughs> he doesn't talk to me anymore. About that. Yeah, exactly. Um, how was it with him? I never had to have a conversation. It was. Uh, I think he figured it out when I yeah. was away in LA. This is twelve years between me and my brother. Yeah. So um, we only had this conversation a couple of weeks we ago. Did. We were laughing at home one night mm. because um, people used to say, "Did you tell him that Lauren is gay?" And I went, "No. Why, why did I do that? <laughs> I say what?" Yeah. And um, and we were asking him, "When did you realise?" Yeah. And actually, he was laughing. He was going, "I, I don't know." He said. I, are you gay? Even though like, you're laughing about it. Yeah. It's just, I think it was just the norm in the house and it was seen. Yeah. There was never, you know, there was never a reason that you had to say, listen, just mm. to let you know. Yeah. You know, she's she's with a woman. It was just never mentioned. It doesn't need to be done. Yeah. It's not like we're all, me. And we didn't hide it. Yeah, we're not yeah. all over but each that's, other that's, either. Yeah, that but that's, see that, yeah. that comes from just pureness of the family. Like, you didn't Absolutely. need to say it. It was just there. You just knew yeah. and nobody needed to put you down or make you feel any other way and that's respect. Like, yeah. Absolutely. Like, there's a, there's a lot of family that don't have that, you mm. know, and um, I having... Thi- sorry, I think as well, once my parents found out about me and like I said, the weight of the world was lifted off mm. my shoulders, I didn't care what anyone, anyone else, else thought because yeah. I knew that knew I had, had them. It. Exactly. That they would even fight for me if, yeah. if needed but then again what people say about me doesn't behind closed doors it doesn't affect me it shouldn't mm. i just try to be a good person you know it was interesting actually because lauren probably of the grandchildren would be in the oldest the, there was younger ones then that came after her and um and so of course not only one family um is, is touched by uh, do you know yeah. this, this yeah. where somebody is gay one in four aren't they saying yeah, yeah, yeah. and so i used to always say that to my own family to alan's family it's one in four so the chances are there's, there's more to come. More to come. Mm. And they did. Mm-hmm. No and way. every single one of those parents turned to us and said, you set the, gra- you, set the you know, the, the, the bar for that. Standard, yeah. It was so accepting. Not yeah. any of the others, did they have a problem turning around and saying, listen, guys, you know. Mm. So I'm the OG. I, yeah. You are the OG. I always say that. I, like I, say that, I say that a lot about my kids. Like, you know, mm. I want my kids to just live their life to the fullest. I don't, I don't. Like, if my son or my daughter or aunt like that comes to me and says, look, that I'm gay, like, I'll be like, look, I support you, I love you, but understand what I show you and what the house give you, your family, your ma, it might not be the same on the outside. Just make sure to be aware of that. And I always say this to me, me, me missus, because um, I, see, I see a lot of hate in the world, especially when it comes to things like that, you know? And um, I've, I've been in circles with people talking out of asses, you know? And I feel like most lads in the circle that's, that are gay, you know the way you see young flies around the estate and there's gang of them. Out of that, that gang, there's at least 10 or four of them that's gay that can't come out because the way the gang does talk about gay people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's so sad, mm-hmm. you know? Because when you get to a certain age, you know what yeah. in the younger, mm-hmm. you know? And it's so sad. And I always say that to the, the youth of today, like, you just need to set example for that you are friends. Yeah. And they'll be like, no, 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 my friend, blah, 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 this, no, yeah, but you don't know because you, the way you're talking. Mm-hmm. You don't know. You don't know who's going home at night and crying and just can't be himself. Under serious pressure for that yeah. shit, yeah. Absolutely. And just have to act the same way when he's with you, you know? Mm. Fake it or whatever. And then when he's in his room, he's, he's feeling a lot of pressure. Mm. And these things happen daily. And I feel like and the problem with that is I feel like women can come out a lot easier. I agree. And yeah. I feel like that's why a lot of suicide in the youth of today is massive mm. it's massive and i feel like a lot of people need to start talking about this Absolutely. and this is one of the reasons why i wanted to get you on board and i'm delighted that you come on board you came on board with us your breath of fresh air Absolutely. your man's amazing <laughs> yeah and look, ledge you have a great family man honestly so i have much. to give it to you yeah. so um big respect on that Absolutely. Big respect. All the respect. Um, I believe you bought something for us, yeah? I'm mad to see this. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah, I'm mad to see this. So. <laughs> oh, did you? Ooh, let give me us, see this. Give oh, us no, 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 Yours is the shit yeah. now as well. Is it? Yeah, yours is, is the it? shit, bro. Yeah, I can only imagine what this is gonna look like. Are you ready? Yeah. Show it to the one. got it right. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Oh, that's <laughs> deadly. Really? 
Oh, bro, wait till you fucking see yours as well. Like, oh, yes, mate. That is, brilliant. That is unbelievable. Amazing, man. Wow. I, just, I paint iconic people. This is hey, that's my iconic right now. That's the shit. That is deadly. You oh my god. You're iconic for what you've done. Hold on, I'll let the camera see yeah, that, man. man. That's fucking amazing. That's a first in my life anyway, even having yeah. something close to like that though. That's unreal. Let me see this. I've been waiting for this. Oh yeah, this is the shit now. Yours is clean. Is it? It's clean. Is it good? Bro. It's clean. Ah! Ooh, Woo! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yes. I look like Wesley Snipes. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you painted that. Like. Yeah, it's that serious. Nuts. So I did a screen print of both your faces because I didn't have time yeah. to properly sit down. So. I found two of my favourite photos of you that I made in stencils. Oh man, I'm going up in my sitting room, she likes it, I'm not. Absolutely, thank you. No thank you. Thank you very much. No problem. Oh, no problem. So, so, so the next one is the naked <laughs> ones. The naked ones. That is beautiful. It'll be worth a few bob now when I die. Oh, Jesus. Are we up? Well, I can't. Um, yeah, so we have two questions before we close up. Okay. You rip off. Um, wow. Thank you. Oh, mate, that was unreal. That made my day. That's that made my fucking shit right there. Yes, yes, sir. I'm so happy. I feel like yeah. changing this now. <laughs> I really do. I feel like changing that one to two. Yeah, awesome. Thank shit. you, man. Thank you. Oh, thank, you. Thank, you. Yeah. thank you so much. Love it. Great Absolutely. Um, That's unbelievable. Ooh. Yeah, so one of the questions I wanted to bring in is again, this is totally out of the field. Okay. It's just us talking. Um, do you feel like women of today, when I say women of today, I talk about the generation of today from 18, from 70 and up, mm -hmm. um, have been influenced the wrong way with social media? And what is your thoughts on it? Go. Okay, I think yes. Yeah. I cannot believe, no. Talk your shit, no, 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 Talk no, your shit. Is, the mind look, any of them. Be yourself. I can't yeah. believe the amount of young youngsters, I'll say women, I'll start off with women first, mm. on social media and the amount of them they're getting their lips. Now, they don't, these are beautiful girls that mm -hmm. don't need anything to be done and they're just taking very, pro, 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 what's the word? Pro, oh, no, pro, oh, no, no. Pragmatic, I don't know if that's the right one. Provocative. Provocative. Oh, it's provocative. Yeah. provocative Gets the people going. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm just trying to, you know, get the brain. I like it. Promiscuous. Yeah. I like it. I like no, it. No. Like here. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, I just, I, I can't identify with any of the, these teenagers, young adults now, mm. with how they're treating social media, even putting their relationships, like mm -hmm. of them cooking, like on TikTok lives where they're cooking dinner or having fights, whatever. I, I just don't understand what enough. way they're mm. using it. They're using it incorrectly. Yeah. And I think social media Absolutely. is great. Uh, I love being connected to everyone, but Jesus, yeah, no, we're going down the wrong path. Yeah, agreed. What do you think? How many times do we hear people going, oh Jesus, if that had been out when I was young, yeah. oh my mm. God, I'd be splattered yeah. across the Sunday world. Yeah, I, yeah. I kind of think a little bit, maybe not different, yeah, maybe different to you where, you know, you're talking about how important it is, how, you know, people look. I actually think it's kind of sad of how important it, it is to somebody to make themselves feel better that that's what they have to do, that they're seen to have to do that. Mm. You know, you're a nobody if you're not, what do you mean you're not on social Ridiculous. media? You're a nobody, yeah. Yeah. you know? Yeah. And it's, so even people that are not putting stuff into their faces or, or whatever, it's filtered or it's, yeah. you know, it's yeah. creating the picture mm. to make somebody, and that's sad it because is. there's a sadness in there that yeah. makes you want to have to do that. And yeah. I kind of think, I'm trying yeah. to create that your life is, or portray that your life is perfect but, yeah. all the time. Well, it's funnier to actually come out and say, Jesus, wait, and I tell you what happened to me. <laughs> yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? You just yeah. get more, it's more real. As opposed yeah. to highlighting some, yeah. or oh, getting yeah. a highlight real version. I just, I absolutely love, I find it the most funniest thing ever is, you know, when um, women, and generally women, because men of a certain age group, my age group, wouldn't be on social media, you know? Mm -hmm. And I just love 
when the women would go, um, I just want to say happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> to my rock. Yeah. You are just the love of my... He's not on social media. Roll over and tell him. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I was going to say, but he's sitting like there. Yeah. Like he's yeah. right beside her. But he's not on social media. Yeah. She's telling everybody, but he's not rock. He's really fighting father. 20 minutes ago. You were in a separate bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> love it. Uh, uh, uh. But like, um, yeah, social media, social media for me as like open up so many gateway for me um at the start of my career with bodybuilding that got me like around the world i traveled seen china everywhere done everything and it, it, it showed me the world it really yeah. did they put me on a platform that just kept me up it just kept on open doors for me when i was doing things right you know but now what i see what social media is after turning to it actually scares the living crap out of me because the reason why is i have a 10 year old and she is bet into uh TikTok. TikTok, yeah. but what I'm starting to see now from TikTok is a lot of kids are being influenced by the wrong girls and the wrong girls are getting influenced by the wrong celebrities yes. and it's just falling into a domino effect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like if you're doing Botox in a clinic, right, and you're doing lift fillers, all that, and you're doing anyone that's 16, that's not 18 up, you should be fucking locked up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's just but dead, dead serious. The same way they banned leggings in school, they should ban Botox in kids. Oh, yeah, definitely. definitely. Makeup in kids and all. And that's where social media has gone to now. Mm. You know, flash your ass, flash your tits, get your followers up. Mm. Mm. You do that for how long? You stop, like, for example, the way it, the way it goes, the, like, the girls are so horny for likes mm -hmm. that they flash their tits, flash their ass, and try and get sure. whatever yeah. out of it. And then when they stop getting whatever out of it, because that's all they can give, they turn to only fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's happening so much now and i feel like that alone is destroying our youth of today like i don't know how long you're in the marriage for maybe 20 years you've been married i don't know how, how long you married 25 25 25 mm -hmm. years like we're not getting any of that anymore we're not mm -hmm. getting any of that anymore because the reason why is somebody can be in a relationship for a year to two years and they fight over fucking chips and fish mm -hmm. who gets the last chip and the last person that gets the last ship to your own person, I don't need you anymore. Mm -hmm. And goes onto social media and gets her over yeah. onto the next person. And I feel like relationships are not getting worked on yeah. as the way that you would have done, my man or I would have yeah. done yeah. back in the days anymore. We're losing connection with human. Yeah. We human are connection. really, yeah, really so. using connection with human to human. Yeah, and social media, yeah. Should, I, I think it should help your career, of course, mm -hmm. you know, because of course that's what gets the, the news out there. Mm -hmm. um, I don't believe that it should be the be all and end all of your career no. or mm -hmm. your lifestyle. Yeah. You know, as in living your life, your, your married life, your kids' lives, sharing everything on social media. I think it's. It's crazy. ridiculous. I think that is the root of why you have that shit with marriage as well, where, you know, or someone, they fight over chipping and one fucks off. Whereas you're looking at everyone else doing that shit, where they're probably having the exact same fucking argument you are, but they're going and going, yeah, no, it's actually, it's class. Like, yeah. you know, and then you're going, like, well, they're doing class, so why the fuck are we not doing class? The grass, the grass is always green. Always, yeah. In your phone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and no you matter know, how many it, times you crazy. scroll down, it just gets greener and greener, you know? Exactly. And boredom as well. Yeah. yeah. That's why, you know, listen, mm. I'm... I'm a TikTok person that can go and start off stuff like knows four and a half hours. <laughs> Rabbit hole. <laughs> like, no, that's something I'm looking at, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it is. It's definitely yeah. that. It's just that boredom. It's that non-communicating. You know, yeah. nobody's talking. They're all like the before phones. I move off. Before we move off this and go to your question, mm -hmm. me personally, like another thing that really grinds me gear is couples on holidays or whatever and taking pictures. Look at my baby. Mm. They are killing trust me do yeah. not believe that show you. Yeah. i feel like people that feel like they have to do shit like that are killing each other Absolutely. Mm -hmm. they're not happy and they want the whole world to give them that approval oh well done honey you're doing mm -hmm. well go away and i feel like it's just so misleading leading mm -hmm. that every little young kid think that's the relationship they want but that girl doesn't even have that relationship herself it's yeah. just that one second of that the picture, yeah. and then after the picture, you gotta wait for me, will you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So it's sad, it's sad to see the way the wall is torn right now. And yeah, I said I'd bring that question in to see what you think of it. I'm glad, thank you. Yeah, yeah it's a good one. I like it, I like it. Um, so my uh, kind of a similar thing, obviously, um, well, actually, not really a similar thing, I guess, more e uh, equal opportunity and equal outcome. This is a bit of a Jordan That's Peterson a vibe. Like that? I like it. A little bit of Jordan I Peterson like here. Lot. Jennifer, you don't look too impressed by me already. <laughs> 
I'm treading carefully. I'll just say that now. From this point on, yeah. I'm choosing my words very carefully. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, for those that may not be aware of the thing, so in a Jordan Peterson way, and not that we're fucking all JP or no, Andrew Tate. Well, yeah, but not like, you know, we're not no, out with no, banners we and shit. <laughs> we are, we are, we are. A lot, a lot. But uh, so the, the argument is that, you know, I guess from a feminist perspective or even from a female perspective, that everyone should have the, an equal outcome. Mm-hmm. And, and have the same thing Both men and women should have everything the same I personally believe That yes they should To a degree But I think it's more realistic to say that Opportunities that are equal Is a little bit more realistic What do you think? I'll leave it to the floor You think that opportunities are more realistic? Equal opportunities are more realistic? I, I feel like right. getting equal opportunities are more realistic Getting them mm-hmm. I feel yeah, like it's a more okay. realistic thing to achieve over outcome Yeah um, Look I understand the argument that, and, and I hear it a lot, you know, where, oh, you know, that, you know, we aren't equal. Women want to be looked after. Women mm. want, you know, the door open. You can't have everything, you know. You can't have it one way. You can't mm. have it another. Um, and, look, that that's just the way life has developed on, you know. Mm-hmm. But, you know there, there was a time when my mother would have stayed at home, I suppose, you know, cook the dinner, you know, wash the clothes, and the man came in, and although my family wasn't really like that, but that, yeah. that type of general idea. To when I left school, and I had Laura, and I was on my own. Mm. So I started off being the breadwinner. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Started off with the two of us, and I didn't have anybody to look after me. Mm. So suddenly then I meet somebody, mm-hmm. and, I, and I move along from that. I can't then suddenly just change and decide... Oh, that's it now. I'm going to sit back yeah. and sure because because you develop a, a lifestyle, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, and to maintain that lifestyle, it takes two people working a bit of give and take. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I sometimes get frustrated of the idea that a guy can finish work and walk into a pub and have a pint, and um, and then stroll home and his dinner is on the table. Mm-hmm. Yet if I did it, everybody would shock and horror would be looking yeah. around. Going, <laughs> yeah. Two yeah. women doing <laughs> sitting at the bar on our own. Would I have yeah. a problem doing it? Not at all. Good. I would do it. Yeah. But it's other people's reactions and close to home that those reactions would be yeah. you know jesus is she not at home making dinner yeah. you know and and men can kind of play on that a bit mm-hmm. you know so yeah I, I kind of that's where i feel it should be equal it yeah. should be it shouldn't be seen in society as oh you've got to have you know um the guy you know that that can kind of do what he wants go here go play golf and the woman should be at home you know mm-hmm. uh, to me it should be equal it's not equal. Mm-hmm. It's not equal in the workforce. Mm-hmm. They're, they're fighting now for gender, for gender balance or mm-hmm. whatever. It's not there. Mm-hmm. It's not at the right levels. Mm-hmm. Am I going too deep? No, <laughs> absolutely. Because no. And I agree with you on a lot of those things, even yeah. though I brought up the question. You know, because they'll, they'll make, you know, oh, well, you know, women, do we want them in that position? They're going to have babies. Yeah, that's and, the usually the big thing. That isn't yeah. fair, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't... So, yes, I understand, you know, in armies or whatever, and you're never going to have a 50-50 split. Yeah. And men are tougher. I understand all of that, and I have no problem with it. But there are women that are tough. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There are women that want to be able to look after themselves and pay their own bills and, and earn their own money and better themselves, you know? And there are men that also want a woman like that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I kind of think we're not we're not anywhere near there, yeah. and that's mm. something that we we should be striving towards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that opportunity was always there for the girls. Girls just woman, sorry, girl or woman. Um, I think women just choose to go down the woman path. I think I think nobody ever closed the door for a woman to be a bricklayer or be whatever. Like for example, if you look at the plumbing, right? Plumbing, for example, you have to do a squeeze test. If a man doesn't squeeze that bar right. He fails. They really just give the woman the pass because they know they can't squeeze. So that opportunity, I feel like for workplace, <clears throat> when we were younger, we were told, okay, men, mechanic, blah, 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 woman, hairdresser, blah, 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 mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. And I think that was the segment that was put down years ago. But till this day, I still see the odd woman walking on construction. I still see yeah. the odd woman being a road walker or whatever. So that, that opportunity was always there for women to make top money. Now, when we're talking about equal pay we're talking about maybe at the top of the pharmace- pharmaceutical at the very top where us council head will never fucking know <laughs> first of all <laughs> yeah. and second of all i feel like there have been a lot of changes in the last 30 years that right now women are more beneficial than men 
I feel like if for me and you went in for a job interview right now, you will get the job, not me. The reason why is just like if you came into my gym today and he came into my gym today, I will go for you. Because I know a woman can be on time, punctual. Mm -hmm. You know, if the place is not clean, she'll do it. It's just natural things. You know what I mean? Men are a bit different, but we'll sit back, we'll live it. You know, like if anything heavy, maybe, yeah. So I feel like that's changing. Mm -hmm. It's not changing fast enough. Yeah, but it is changing. Mm -hmm. yeah. I actually, you know? yeah, sorry, I agree with you there. I think, and listen, I ha take my hat off. I would have loved. I, I really beat myself up when when my kids were small that I had to work, but I had yeah. to work. Yeah. And I remember people in work, women in work, saying, "Oh no, I'm giving up because I want, I want to wear my children." Yeah, mm. I was so jealous of those people yeah. because they had that opportunity. Mm. So, um, and they chose that and I take my hat off to anybody that wants to do that. Well, I yeah. really do. Mm -hmm. Didn't work mm -hmm. for me and it wouldn't have been for me. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, I have the great of, of respect. In relation to the apprenticeships where you're yeah. saying, you know, the, the plumbers and whatever, um, that you said that was always there. Uh, to me, I don't, I don't agree with that because Yes, you're right, they were always there. But the minute that those would have got into the job, they would have been lambasted, them girls. Mm. They wouldn't have been given a chance. Mm. And the only reason now that it's actually, you'll see more of them, and you're not saying 50-50, yeah. but you'll see more of them, is strong-willed girls with confidence. That's saying, a funny story, true. You can do that. Man. Yeah, I can do that. And strong-willed girls with confidence that say, I wouldn't mind working in a job with 50 men around me. Mm. Because if I was doing it again, that's what I'd be doing. Me too. Yeah. Mm. That's what yeah. I'd be doing. Yeah. That's, that's brilliant. Yeah, yeah guys, that makes so much sense yeah. and I am delighted to have you on board. Do you have anything else? No, that was, that was pretty much when it ended on that bomb there. Anyway. And guys, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Yeah, I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, so much. Thank you best I will have you back in at some time, maybe in the end of the next, the yeah. second season, just mm. to see where you are. After we do the late, late, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it big in New York, all that shit. Thank you so much. That was fucking awesome. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks, guys. I enjoyed that.